So that was certainly short lived. Team Keep It Clean. See, I tried to do the little Dolphins colors in the back, get them a little shout out for taking our spot. And I mean, they, they took it from the Ravens weeks ago, as y'all remember on that Thursday night football game. Um, and now they take it from the Ravens again. I'm going to be straight up with y'all. The game, as of this recording, it's still like eight minutes left. But yeah, you, you know what's going down. Now, I would love a scenario where this video, this pre-recording becomes null and void because the Saints just made some amazing comeback. But yeah, you know. Anyway, um, so the Dolphins, they... Uh, <laughs> They get the spot at the seventh seed, and the Ravens are in the hunt. In the hunt. It was fun while it lasted. It lasted, what, about 24 hours. We were in the playoffs, but now we are on the outside looking in. And I know there's some Ravens fans that are happy. And I can understand because it, I, I've been thinking about it. Because, you know, before I would be like, oh, man, the Ravens fans who don't want the Ravens to get in the playoffs, like, why not? And I, I, I know, I know it's, a, it's a slim chance, especially it's an even slimmer chance with the Ravens roster, how depleted it is. I know. But it's still always a chance if you can get in. And even still, I would rather the Ravens make the playoffs, but I know that they're, they're the Ravens fans that are like, one of the reasons that they don't want the Ravens to make the playoffs is because they don't want another year of the same stuff. And they feel like if the Ravens don't make the playoffs, then there's a higher possibility that changes could be made and more significant changes could be made. Now, something to think about, you know there's gonna be a lot of guys that get a pass this year. Whatever guys you thinking about, the Ravens possibly making changes at their uh, positions, they, they're probably going to get a pass this year because of all the injuries. So just something to keep in mind. So I, I can understand both sides of it. Because again, like I said, I've been thinking about it. I've been seeing people's comments and stuff and their reasoning. And I get it. I get it. Because if, if the Ravens got into the playoffs, then there would be a much less chance that certain aspects of the team um, <laughs> get, ch get changed. So I feel, I feel y'all on that, those of y'all that are thinking uh, that way. Um, but anyway, the Ravens got the Rams, again, 1 o'clock. Don't forget, nobody forget, especially if you go into the game. Um, so they now uh, have to win out, and they need, I mean, they always needed help, but they have to win out, and they have to get help as well. Um, next week, the Steelers play the Browns. And the Bengals play the Chiefs. Uh, we will obviously be rooting for the Chiefs again. And I know there have been a lot of back and forth between Ravens and Bengals fans today. Oh, my goodness. It's from Actually, in the past 24 hours, it has been so ugly. Um, but the Bengals won. They won. Yeah, it was against a depleted team and whatnot. And, yeah, Ravens had so many people missing and whatnot. But, I mean, if the shoe would have been on the other foot, we would have been like, okay, we'll take the win. We'll take the win. Guess a depleted team or not, the game still got to be played. So the Bengals, they took care of business. They got the win. Um, now, I know that there's been some Bengals fans that have been going the extra miles. Say, oh, we run the North, and oh, we swept the Ravens and the Steelers. Oh, man, we back. And this year, yeah, that's cool. But let's see consistency now. And, and I love it. I, I obviously don't love the Ravens getting whooped. Um, but I love the fact that the AFC North is more competitive now. I love it. I've been saying that for the longest. I've been saying that for years, man. That if, if with competition, if, if your opponent, like the Browns, the Browns, they, they've been going crazy with their rosters over the past like three years. Like they've been going crazy. Now it hasn't really, they haven't really shown anything from it. They've shown improvement though from the, what they used to be. Because now they've been in contention and stuff. And it's like, oh, hold up, man, Brown. Yo, wait a minute. But they, um, they, they made their roster get better. So that challenged the other three AFC North teams, too, to also make their rosters get better. Even though the Ravens and the Steelers, they usually would do a pretty good job. The Bengals, they would, they would be having these really talented rosters. But I felt like they just they were always so young and they just did not have good leadership. That's what I always felt like it was with the Bengals, in my opinion. Because they, they had some players, man. Y'all know, the Bengals always had some players. They had some young guys, but I just felt like they didn't have any direction. 
but now they seem to have some more direction, and they still got a bunch of young guys, and so they 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 headed in the right direction. Uh, Bengals, I mean Browns, don't know what's going on with them. With the Steelers, we'll see what happens after they get rid of Ben Roethlisberger this off season, um, because they if they get a quarterback that can play, they'll be straight. They'll be they ain't gonna go nowhere. They're gonna be right back in the thick of things. And of course, the Ravens, they just got to get healthy. So all of these teams, they, they can make noise. Uh, but right now, is, as of right here right now, only one of them would be in the playoffs. These last two weeks are going to be crazy. These last two weeks are going to tell us the story. Um, it's, it's, it's fun because one of my guys in the comment section, he was like, see, this is what makes NFL so fun. The fact that you you gotta watch uh, you gotta watch and it's stressful too, but you gotta watch some of these other teams play in order to know how it affects and impacts your team. And even with that, um, with this game with the Saints and the Dolphins, like I expected the Dolphins to win. I said that yesterday. I was hoping the Saints will win, but I expected the Dolphins to win, especially when I heard the Saints were starting like a rookie quarterback. Then the, uh, the Saints had like fifty people on uh, the COVID list. It was just like, oh boy, like man, like I, I don't know if it's smart for uh for Dolphins defensive lineman. I think Wilkins or Christian, I forgot what his name is, but I don't think it's smart for him to be taking Alvin Kamara's his towel if he knows Saints dealing with all this COVID, this widespread COVID stuff. That wouldn't be the smartest thing to do. You don't want to take his towel, like, ew, man. Let him keep that. But anyway, um. So, yeah, it was fun being in the playoffs for that those 24 hours, but now it's gone. But hopefully, by the end of the season, Ravens can get it back. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Uh, we got plenty to talk about, as always. We got questions from subscribers, as always. Uh, this week is going to be very busy. It's also going to be very fun. I love y'all. Y'all keep your heads up. If you're going through something, please keep your head up. Be a light to people. Be positive to people, even when oh, it's a struggle. It can be such a struggle. And my my wife, she she had to she had to check me today because we were we went to Walmart and we went to Walmart because we wanted to, we was gonna go to the park and but we wanted to uh, I wanted to throw the football around with Carter and teach him how to throw it and teach him how to catch it and stuff. So we went to Walmart to go get a pump for the football and went in there, got the pump, came out. And I was pulling out of Walmart, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting to go uh, to pull out of the parking lot, and I'm being patient because it's, it's cars that are coming onto the street and stuff. And uh, this lady behind me—I oh, didn't know it was a lady, but somebody behind me blows, blows their horn, uh, uh, and I'm like, oh. and my wife, she she was like, oh, <laughs> she's like that lady shouldn't have done that. That's only gonna make you want to go even slower now. And I was thinking, oh man, yes, I, I gotta work on this. But I um I pulled into I pulled out the parking lot and got into the turning lane and, and the car pulls up right next to us. So me, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm looking at the car trying to make eye contact and she said, babe, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't even do it. And I was like, oh, OK, OK. So I, I got plenty of stuff to work on myself. That's the moral of the story. So I ain't out here telling y'all to tr be positive to people. And I trust me, I ain't perfect. I mean, y'all know I ain't perfect, but. I got plenty of stuff to work on myself. A lot. We all do. So it's a process. But we all got to try. And that's why we got to be there for each other. Had I been in the car alone, and the eye contact, they would have made eye contact. It could have just been something stupid. But my wife, she was there to help me out. She said, hey, babe, no, no, don't do that. So we got to be there to help each other out. I love y'all. Y'all stay up. We out. Oh, yeah. Just like, no, no, let's, let's remix that ending. Just like the Ravens are when it comes to being in the playoffs. We out.